Low field supply. Alex Benson here. Uh, if you ask around the office uh, at Field Supply, everyone will tell you that I, I may hold the record for employee orders. Specifically, uh, I love certain brands, Browning, Pelican, uh, Oakley, 511 Tactical. Whenever I, I hear that we're getting like a container of, of product, and usually when we're getting those huge fives and those great deals where we're going in bulk and we're and we're picking up some uh, some inventory from them, I go nuts. I I get the list ahead of time. I pick out all my stuff. Anyway, that's what brings us here today. I want to talk to you guys about these Pelican flashlights we got. Um, I I'm a big fan, as you guys know, about usability and and, and I'll give you the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, but I am I do love to hunt. And one of the things I'd say of the gear that I bring into the bush, the two, the two things I'm probably most picky about are my knife. Uh, I mean, outside of my rifle, of course, but my knife and a flashlight. Uh, and both of those are just such staples. And I always have more than one. Um, so I do love Pelican. Big fan of their cases. I've just started getting a little bit into their flashlights. And I got two of them I want to show you guys today. Uh, the first one is the 2370 LED. And the other is the big honker 8060. I'm a big dude, so you can only imagine the size of this thing. So I'm going to open these up. Let's dig in. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and kick it off here uh, with the little guy, the 2730. Um First initial comments, it is a little bit heavy. It runs on two AA batteries. Um, it is a little bit heavy and a little bulkier than usually what I look for in a flashlight. My usual kit, my usual setup is a headlamp, uh, but I always bring an extra flashlight just in case my headlamp fails um, or somebody else's flashlight fails. You can never be without too many flashlights. Um, both flashlights we're looking today, including this one, are spotlight based. Um, this one has a beam distance of of uh, 625 feet. Um, so it's got a little bit of, of reach out. Uh, it does have three modes. It's got um, strobe, high, low, all adjustable by way of a button on the rear that will cycle your features as well serve as your on, off, or IO switch. Um, in terms of uh, lumens and high, and high standard, we're at 158 minutes, and low standard, we're at 52 minutes. Uh, Runtime on high is about three hours and 45 minutes and low, you'll get an extra half hour. So about four hours and, and 15 minutes. One of the things I like about this and, and, you know, I do a lot of critter hunting when I'm out at night, but a lot of times when I'm heading into the sand or getting myself set up uh, pre sunrise, pre first light is you obviously want to go in and move in and out of your hunting location as low impact as possible. So one of the things I do like about this, is that it has these uh, adjustments here. At first, I thought maybe this was an adjustable beam instead of a spotlight, but actually what's happening here is I'm cycling through white light, red light, and green light. Um, so being able to have that option to go red light um, as you make your way into getting set up, obviously that's a lot less intrusive for the game, for the animals. Um, and the other thing I like about it, as much as I do love rechargeable um, flashlights, a little more horsepower, and they're typically, um, you know, consistently regulated uh, battery so that it doesn't just kind of fade out. Um, but uh, um, what I, you know, I, what I do like is that is that red light. And, um, you know, I guess the only the only downside is the is the double battery. I can't say as though how the uh, battery drains, if it if it dims out or if it's regulated. Uh, but it's a nice light. And I'll tell you what, I mean, you, you can't beat it. And we brought in a tractor trailer load of Pelican um, lights. And this guy here, let's have a look. I've, they're up online right now. And this little guy can be yours, SRP $75. We're $41.25 all day. And as you know, we're always running deals, so keep a lookout. Now let's move over to this big hoss cat of a flashlight. I mean, just look at this bad boy, the 8060, I mean, Oh, huge. You know what this reminds me of for, for guys that are more in my age group? Remember the mag lights? You know, the, the this is like the 3D cell mag light, but in rechargeable format and like next gen. Uh, what I like about it is it is rechargeable. Um, 
and it will also run on C batteries. So that gives you two options. Recharge time is long, it's about five hours, but the output on this bad boy is off the charts. Let me grab some of the FL1 specs. And a reminder, actually, both of these flashlights are submersible for up to 30 minutes at one meter, um, which is great. And I think you've come to expect that from Pelican. Pelican doesn't share the shock resistance, which I don't know why it is one of the FL1 standards, but they don't. Um, but with this bad boy, you have a high medium, low mode, you have a strobe and a flashing mode. Uh, those are all activatable here by way of the button on the body. In full, we're at 1,000 lumens. In medium, you're at 551. Actually, you're 1,072. Medium, at 551. And at low, you're at 20, 29 lumens. If you're going to run at full power, three hours and 45 minutes of burn time. Medium, four hours and 15 minutes of burn time. And low, a whopping 60 hours of burn time. So... I think if the apocalypse has come and you're worried about finding a place to recharge, at least getting some low light at 60 hours is amazing. Um, the uh, beam distancing on this guy is great. I won't bore you with all of them, but on high, you reach out 1,230 feet. It is a spotlight. Um, so what do I think? Well, it's heavy. You're definitely not going to take it everywhere you go. It does come with this nifty mounting kit, AC adapter. Um, I played with this a little bit. It's really meant to hang in a vertical, in a vertical position. Um, for whatever reason, I didn't find that it charged really well when it was laying down. Um, so if you've got some mounting screws and you're near an outlet, that that's definitely the way to go with it. I'd say the negatives on this is this is just not a piece you're going to carry with you. Um, it does come with a car charger and different things. Maybe you could put it in your vehicle, but I think this is definitely something that you would keep in your camper, your trailer, um, up at the cabin, in your house, in your garage. That's definitely what I'm planning on using this for. My only other beef too, um, well, I have a couple more. I would have liked to have seen uh, even a dual button or activation here, ideally an IO switch here and using this button to cycle through the features. Um, I think that that was a real missed opportunity by not having that, um, you know, the separate IO switch from the adjustment in, in your output. But it's a great light, uh, again, this came in with this huge shipment. We got a ton of these things. Uh, SRP is in at $235. We've got them for $120 uh, all day, every day. And again, we'll be looking at deals. So these are two great Pelican lights. Um, and they're kind of my picks. Again, there's some things I, I don't like about them. But, you know, when it comes to a flashlight, I have yet to find the perfect flashlight. So... Uh, and when I do, you guys will be the first to know. So check out our selection on Pelican. Again, the 8060 and the 2370. Uh, enjoy, guys. Any questions, feel free to leave comments and let us know.